my bookshelf, which is right next to my little beauty area that sits uh, right there. And I have done a makeup collection and storage video before, so I will link that below for you. But today, excuse the little fan thing, but <laughs> we're going to be focusing on these babies. I do also keep some books um, by my bed over there on my sort of nightstand, what I use for a nightstand, so I'll give you guys a little peek of that as well. And then this is just what's currently on the top of it. So as you can see, these are actually two separate shelves, so there was a little bit of a gap in between. So I decided to fill it with my little Polaroids from my Fuji Instax camera. So that's what I keep there in the middle. So since I know my subscribers are not illiterate, I don't feel the need to go through every single title and read it to you guys. So I'm just going to kind of pan over the shelves slowly and let you guys take a look. I don't have these in any specific order. But as you can see here, this is the first shelf on the left hand side. And I don't have anything specifically on there like I said. But behind this I have some more there. I got this at Michael's in case anyone asks. The little skull thing there is a little vodka bottle that is now empty. <laughs> And then I also have my little Draco Malfoy that came in a little gift box that my boyfriend got me. And as you can see, I kind of keep him there on purpose since Robert Galbraith is J.K. Rowling, as most of you guys may know. Even though, like I said, I don't keep these in any specific order, this is mostly my shelf of classics. And as you can see, I have quite a few. And then I got that camera from the thrift store. I have a a few other ones that I keep somewhere else in my little camera collection shelf but this decanter I also got in at an antique mall and I'll move it so you guys can see the rest of the books and I know there's a little glare there so let me try to hide it so you can see that title <laughs> I got this little guy at CB2 in Chicago with my friend when I went to visit for the night since you guys now work at the airport I get to fly sometimes and I'll move it so you guys can see those titles. And to the right. I have my little Halo Master Chief figure there. And a few more books. As you can see I have most if not all of my Harry Potter books there with my little Hedwig. And my Deathly Hallows necklace. And then an alarm clock from Ikea. And at the bottom here I have some more of my books including the bigger ones and um, some of my diet books down there or the books that I read when I was becoming vegan and a lot of things that I would really recommend to everybody and then some titles that I recently got from Half Price Books like Anna and the French Kiss which I'm not a fan of teen books or romance so I'm a little weary about it but it was on a huge sale so I figured I'd give it a try I just purchased a Tolstoy as well and just some other books that I had been wanting that were on a big sale, um, but most of these I've had for a really long time. Now these are the shelves that actually start being relatively color coded, so I have all my Funko Pop figurines on there now, or figures, and it starts with the Adventure Time Encyclopedia as you can see on the left. And then um, the casual vacancy is kind of covered there, but there's a Hayao Miyazaki book as well that you can't really see, but I don't feel like moving all the figures, so <laughs> yeah, you can see most of the titles. Um, I guess I'll move them from here so you can see these. And I'll also do a little close-up in a second. And a couple of those are actually signed thanks to one of my friends that works at the Dallas Museum of Art that gets to go to the author book signings and things like that. Underneath those is this shelf here, which again, I tried sort of color coding, I just didn't want to overdo it. <laughs> and behind her are those. And she's not hiding many of them, but I'll move her anyway. 
and then my Darth Vader sort of hiding. Forgot he's a bobblehead. I almost ripped his head off. <laughs> now he was actually a special edition one that I got at Comic Con, and he glows in the dark. So I don't know if they still sell them, but it's pretty cool. And I feel like this isn't hiding as much since you can pretty much see all the books, but um, the one there is Hannibal, obviously, and then there's Dan Diane Keaton's book, which is a little hidden. Other than that, I think you can see most of them. The Johnny Cash biography, Chuck Palahniuk, that one is Stranger Than Fiction. And then my Pink Power Ranger, I don't think she's really hiding the title. And Chewbacca might be hiding some of them, but I think you can still see. So right now I just have this, which I got at Target. It's from the Nate Burkus line. I have another one underneath here, but I have some of my records here and my record player, which my boyfriend got me. And then this is, was just a fall themed plate that I made for my Zoya polishes. But this is what the record player looks like. And his name is Dracula. So <laughs> obviously if you guys want to see a record collection video, that'll have to be separate because there's too many of them to go through right now, but I'll be happy to do that. And then this bottom shelf just has some of my boyfriend's little figures and um, both of our comics and my records. Um, a lot of the single issued comics are inside the other Nate Berkus magazine holder. And then I have most of my Junko Misuno comics there together. Um, and then some of the smaller ones up there as well, right there. And that's pretty much it there. These are the ones I'm currently reading, so I keep them by my bed. Uh, the bottom one was a gift from my boyfriend. The one that was a gift, the one right over it, was a gift from my friend Angarid. And then I uh, got that one from Barnes & Noble, which was a gift from my dad. <laughs> and the top one was also a birthday gift. So yeah, that's the bookcase, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know below if you have any other requests and I will try my best to film them before I leave. I am thinking of doing a Brazil vlog, so if you'd be interested in that, just let me know below. <laughs> Can't even talk. All right, bye.